got another update for Robin Cook's Foreign Body. Why does this book rub me the wrong way? I'm usually really into medical thrillers. There were a couple of parts though when I was reading that I was like, hmm, how old is this book? On page 129. Jennifer, the protagonist, has just arrived in India. As she vainly looks for her name, she invariably briefly locked eyes with strangers, each of whom appeared to be more foreign and exotic than the next. Foreign, sure, she's in a foreign country. Exotic, unnecessary. As a young single woman with essentially no travel experience, it was intimidating, even a little scary. Yes, as a woman with very little travel experience, I can completely understand why it would be scary. However, the fact that that sentence comes after foreign and exotic, foreign and exotic, exotic, it sounds like exoticism in not a very good way. Makes it sound maybe a, a little bit bigoted. First of all, should foreigners really be described as exotic? Isn't Jennifer the foreigner here? These days, exotic should only be used to describe tropical vegetation. Second of all, the placement of these sentences definitely implies that she's scared of the foreign exotic people. Maybe a better word to describe this is Orientalism. I'm not qualified to go into all of the intricacies of Orientalism, but if you're not sure what Orientalism is, in general, it's the way that Western countries have traditionally categorized and described Eastern countries in such a way that makes them seem other. An example of this very well might be the sexualization Robin Cook puts on the female Indian nurse at the very beginning of this novel, which is that unnecessary sex scene. Historically, people in the West have over-sexualized women from Middle Eastern and Asian countries. Although I do need to say, women are over-sexualized in general, everywhere. Like, I think it's weird that people use white women as status symbols too. It's a radical idea. Women are just people. Can't we just be people? So this not only becomes an issue of race categorization, but also an issue of female categorization. I would not describe this book overall to be orientalist, but there are definitely a few moments like that unnecessary sex scene and then just the way that some of the characters are described, and then also this latest section with the protagonist being scared of the exotic people. Or maybe it is. Hmm. 